everyone, welcome to the Sins for Mosquito Stop Pack live stream summary. Pretty much today, we're gonna get stuck into a live stream that just dropped about 4 a.m. my time from the Sims team. I'm just gonna basically summarize the live stream because it was like an hour and 15 minutes long. So I'm just gonna point out all the key parts to let you guys know what I found to be interesting in the live stream and what I think is important to know. So without further ado, let's get into it. Also, I'm really, really cold in Melbourne right now. It's freezing. So shout out to my Melbournians who are also freezing at the moment. Moments. Stay warm. Just, just look after yourself, okay? Even if you're in a hot weather climate, just look after yourself, okay? Get a drink. Take care. I care about you. So for this live stream, uh, we have a couple of the leading producers, all the leading producers. Uh, I don't really know the proper title. The big important men that were working on this stuff pack. Sim Guru George, who's absolutely lovely, and also Sim Guru Ninja, who's not quite nice. I'm kidding. He's lovely as well. They're looking pretty cool in their Moschino gear. I think they're feeling Feeling pretty pretty good about themselves right now. Then we have Sim Guru Mannequin in the background on the rotating mannequin. Uh, you know what? Good on him. I think he's enjoying himself back there. And no, Sim Guru Ninja doesn't usually dress like a white boy rapper, but I think he's enjoying himself very much. Why do they still have the tags on their clothes? He has a ring. Oh my gosh. Is that a Moschino ring? So anyway, basically this stream, as I said, was very long. It was an hour and 15 minutes in length and they did not even show create a sim. This is only, <laughs> this is only gameplay and build and buy mode. So it's a very detailed stream. And let me tell you right now, this stuff pack is extremely detailed. Um, This is probably the most detailed stuff pack we've had. I know laundry day stuff was actually quite detailed for what it was about, but this is in its own right, very detailed as well. It's really impressive. So I'm excited to show you guys the goods. So basically first off, they jumped into to this studio they had built and I'm just gonna pause it right here. Take a look at these gorgeous industrial windows. I absolutely love these. I'm not sure if we pointed them out in the trailer or if they showed them in the trailer, but they are so beautiful. And you can see that there's a lot of really nice modern furniture, wallpaper. Uh, I think that's a new flooring because I think we've had that color in the game before. So I love new timber flooring. And yeah, we've got some clutter items, books, magazines. We love all of that. And we also have the brand new photography studio, which is going to be very important and useful for while you're working as a freelance fashion photographer, which we're gonna see in a little bit. Now, I know a lot of you are thinking, well, this is just exactly like the one from Get Together. It's actually not. All of these items are separate. This is going to allow you to do a lot more as well. And the best thing is that tripod, you can actually put it in your Sims inventory and carry it anywhere you want. Really, really nice. The lights are all separate as well. The key lights, spotlights, you can use those for just taking screenshots of your Sims. You can use them as decor objects for your industrial lofts. You can do whatever you like. So we're gonna check out more of the photo studio really soon, but I think it's really cool that you can also see the photo frames in the background. Uh, we've got our Sims wearing some of the new Moschino creator Sim assets. They were very careful not to show too much. So I believe they're doing another live stream for creator Sims soon. They love leaving us wanting more, don't they? Couple new wall items, that mirror there, we weren't sure if that was like a decal or a light or whatever it was. It is a wall piece. And then we've got a new bookshelf there, which is really nice. Um, those do have slots for putting clutter items on, the light, the gnome, those are both base game items, so there you can take them out of the shelf. And then we've got the three frame on the side there, which is great because you can actually put multiple photos in one frame, love that. And let's have a look at the swatches on the chairs. So you've got your black, your white, very happy to see that. Um, good job, guys. And then you've got the bright colors too, lots of great geometric patterns, which look really fantastic. Some tartan looks as well. And I never remember what this one's called. Um, there's a store called David Jones in Australia and that's like their pattern that they use. So I always call it the David Jones pattern. <laughs> you guys will know in the comments down below. And you can also see um, the couch is matching. The industrial windows in the back have some really great vibrant color swatches as well. So it's all quite minimal with accents of vibrant patterns, I suppose. That's the overall theme of the aesthetic of the pack when it comes to build and buy. I love these clothing racks. I think these are going to be so useful and used so much in build and buy mode. The gurus actually said themselves they are excited to see how much use these get because we love building wardrobes in The Sims. A lot of players do. So I'm excited to use those. And we've got some glass, um, what are these called? Like screens, if you wanna pop those in with some really great different vibrant patterns 
patterns on them as well when we get to the polka dot one. How fun is that? So you can you can get some really interesting looks or you can just go with the plain ones as well, which I always stress is really, really important. I love that yellow and orange gradient, by the way. Uh, that is very big. That is, that is a nice bookend statue right there. And obviously that is usually a lot smaller, I think. Also with these clothes, there are some colorways that look a little bit more normal and less intense and high fashion. So you can have your Sims have these clothing racks and look a little bit less eccentric if you want to, which I think is a really important detail. Guitar, amps, you know, pretty cool stuff. So when it comes to the freelance fashion career, what you gotta do is like the freelance career update, you just go to select a gig, you're gonna have all of these options available and obviously you're probably gonna wanna pick opportunities that are in line with your Sims photography skill level. So there's photography level one, two, and it's going to um, become higher and higher as your skill increases. So there's a lot of things you can go with there, a lot of different opportunities. And some of them are actually quite specific in in terms of what you need to fulfill. So for example, this one says, work with a style influencer to create the perfect photo capturing fresh and fun fashions from next season's lines. You have creative freedom to choose your own clothing and photo subjects. Here's another one, utilize fashion studio lights to make your subjects glow from head to toe. All fashion and poses are acceptable. This is a play of light and shadow. So it really wants you to experiment and be creative with some of the new lights. And I think they ended up choosing finding the style. Yeah, so they're gonna pick the first when we read out and it's actually quite a good gig payout. I'm just gonna move myself to this corner. Um, but yeah, basically it has your tasks down here that say you need to chat with a style influencer. Click on a computer and select the chat with style influencer interaction under the freelance pie menu. Take a photo of Sims in formal wear. You need to do five of those and meet with a style influencer as well. So the tasks are laid out there for you to follow and if you follow them successfully, without any mistakes, you're gonna get that good, good payout. And I think the payout was around $1,200 for this one. So they go over to the computer, you go to your freelancer option over here, and then you can chat with your style influencer who they have as Izzy Fabulous. Now I think you can pick who your style influencer is perhaps. I think they mentioned that in the live stream. Again, I'm gonna figure this all out myself when we actually get into the gameplay. I find that a good way to learn. So she's having a chat with the style influencer. So once she has finished that task, it is now going to tick that off the list. Good job. And they said, I can't wait to see photos of today's trend Styles. That was just behind my beanie. There's also this new little object here that comes in a few different swatches that you can drag over the photo studio. It's basically just like a little thing where you can select to hire your fast fashion subject. You can then control that subject to pose in certain ways or wait for the photographer. Um, so that's just like an extra object to help you with your actions that you wanna do with your Sims. So they're gonna go ahead and hire a fashion subject. Now you can go through multiple fashion subjects, I think, but I'm not sure if you can actually choose who your fashion subject is from a list of townies, which is a little disappointing because I would want to like select certain Sims. You know, I might wanna make a photographer woman who has her eye on a very nice man and is like, hey, do you mind if you be my photography subject and, you know, take a few photos, do a few bikini shots? You know, for storytelling purposes, it's really good to be able to select your sim. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can fire them if you don't like them and get another photo subject in. Mortima Goth has rocked up in already his everyday wear, which looks a little bit formal, but George said he didn't like it. He said it just wasn't good enough for him. So he wants to select Mortima Goth's outfit. So we can actually go ahead to freelancer options here, ask to change outfits, um, plan his outfit so we can change that up and choose exactly what look and feel we want him to wear. So we did get a little bit of a sneak peek into some creator sim assets right here. And uh, he's wearing a new full body suit and uh, he's another Moschino leather jacket. I think they have matching pants to go with that as well. They did also say, which I thought was really nice, uh, that they really wanted to have a nice balance between obviously high-end Moschino fashion with really vibrant 
and over the top colorways and patterns and all of that. But they're aware that most players aren't going to want all of their Sims to wear that all the time. So they do have a nice blend of everyday objects as well. I mean, assets as well that aren't so over the top. So they have been very aware of that, which is really fantastic. So my team of goth even had a bit of a haircut as well. His head's been shaven, so he really let uh, let the fashion photographer do whatever they wanted with him. So as you can see there, you can place the camera in your inventory. You can also mount any other camera in the game from any other pack onto this tripod as well, which is a really nice little eye for detail. They show some of the different backdrops on here. There's actually some really nice block colors that I love uh, that splits the screen as well as some really bold geometric patterns as well. So you can certainly go ahead with that or a natural background, you know, take pictures on location, or they have these other objects, which are really cool. And these are actually animation screens that have some moving backgrounds on them that you can join up and work pretty much flawlessly behind your sim. The animations will go across all screens, whether you use one or all of them, which is really nice. So you just go ahead and you pick the different options from the list that are available and obviously you can join them up if you want to. I love the gradient background actually. That's really, really lovely. So you can have like the flashing lights on a red carpet. You can have trees that move. Yeah, like a forest skyline. And of course they look really, really good when they're put together. So I'm very happy about that. No janky animations, very nice. This is actually a really cute one as well. So you can see here that they all join together there nicely and how cute is that so yeah you can take pictures that way so right now they're doing a little bit of a photo shoot it has this really love lovely like soft transition to the camera and obviously the camera has a lot of options we're familiar with from other cameras in the game but there's also new options as well Another really good thing is remember with the current cameras, if your sim has a low photography skill, skill, they're going to get like finger blurring over the camera or gnomes popping up. And, you know, it's cute. And it's a bit funny, but after a while, it gets a bit annoying. I believe with this tripod and this camera setup, um, you're not going to get that. Your sim can be level one photography skill and still take the photos that you want to take. So that is really fantastic. You can choose filters as per usual, and you can also use your camera rotation freely whilst you're in this mode as well. You're not going to be restricted at all as we previously have been when taking pictures. So that is really nice. You can rotate your sim really nicely. Um, you can still get all the same filters, no new filters. I don't think we really needed new filters. I'm pretty happy with the current filters as is. And you're also probably wondering what all of these little faces are in the corner as well. And that actually means that you can have your sims posing differently and they can be happy, they can be sad, they can be silly. Uh, and you can also use the top um, button to change to different poses. So this is going to be a lot easier to use for those of us who don't have pose packs. And I'm also very curious to see what the modding community will do with this new system, whether that's going to make it easier for you to use your modded custom content poses as well. So this is really, really nice. Whether you're into mods or not, it's a lot more versatile. It's a lot more user-friendly. And Mortim is looking actually not too bad. He's really had quite the glow up, hasn't he? You can even do like excited poses, like happy, where he's like, yay, <laughs> which is kind of cute. Or even a little bit of flirty flirt flirt. Damn, son. Oh, stop it. So sassy. Of course, we're wondering... Can I take pictures with more than one sim? You can. I think you can have three sims, I believe. Maybe you can have more. I'm not sure. I might have missed that detail. But they've added another like key object to the ground so your sim can stand where you want them to stand. Really, really handy for thumbnails as well. And yeah, you can select another sim to take pictures of. And then, oh, do they move from the standing point? I'm going to have to look at that more when we're when we're doing our gameplay. But this is really cute. They will like change positions and alternate between positions as well. So they're going to kind of work together to create the ultimate scene that you want as a photographer. So like I said, this is really, really fantastic. I'm impressed by this. This is a stuff pack like this is really this is good stuff, you guys.
Of course, you can then drag your photos out to the wall. You can frame them as well. I actually thought there were going to be more frames available because I saw some more traditional looking frames in the trailer. So I'm not really sure what, how to get the more traditional frames. Maybe it's like when you drag them to the table or something. I don't know. But um, yeah. They also let us know that the rotating of the picture, which when we looked at it in my previous video, I was like, why would you want to rotate this picture? That's kind of janky looking. Um, the reason they did that was if you're taking pictures of non-SIM subjects, like if your subject is the outdoors, you might want to rotate it just to be more creative. So they just added that for creative freedom, not really for a specific purpose. So I think that was a little confusing, but um, I guess the more options we have, the better. So I'm glad that we understand that now because I was like, did they do an oopsie? <laughs> and yeah, here you can see as you drag it to a table, it's going to snap down to a nicer size. And then we've also got the three frame in the top corner up there, which they're going to show shortly how we can drag photos into that as well. So there you go. You can drag pictures in as you please. Even if they're already in a frame, you can just drag them in. Don't worry about removing the frame or anything. It works really nicely and seamlessly and you can make a beautiful arrangement of pictures. So hopefully we see a lot more different frames in the future as well with some updates. I love the option of having different frames. So I want to see more of this because that works really, really nicely. And it's just a nice detail to the game. There's also another special frame object over here, which acts as a digital frame. So you can manage a photo inventory and put multiple photos into it. You kind of drag them into it. You can adjust the speed of it and it'll kind of flip through the photos that you want, much like a digital frame if you have those in real life. If you wanted to create like a wizard house, you could get them to be like moving photographs if you were really, really sneaky, I suppose. But yeah, you can see them changing bit by bit, uh, especially if they speed up the time, they'll change a little bit more frequently. Are they even changing? Hello. Oh, there we go. Now they're switching over. So when you have a whole wall of them, they're actually quite interesting. You know, it's a it's a nice feature. They showed an example of bringing the tripod out to the great outdoors so you can take a picture outside and take your tripod anywhere. Take it fishing, take it to another world, go do a photo shoot in the alien world. You know, you can do whatever you like now and the freedom is just glorious. And then being able to experiment with the different poses really makes the photos come to life a little bit more as well as the fact that you can freely move your camera anywhere you like. You can also, I think, take a picture with someone and kind of have the camera on an automatic mode so you don't actually have to have a separate photographer taking the picture for you. That's really handy as well that you don't need a third sim to take the picture. It can just be on timer and the photographer can take a picture with their subject as well. Very nice. See, they're getting along so well. Another thing I noticed in the trailer was that you can take pictures with toddlers now, which is really lovely. You can take like a nice family picture holding them. I love that. And you can also take pictures with pets too. So that's a nice addition. If you do have a pet on the lot, um, you can get them into a photograph as well. And obviously there's not as many options for the toddlers because you don't want to be like flirty with your toddler because that would be a little, a little iffy. But yeah, you can do change of poses to get a few different looks and feels. And they're really heartwarming pictures to put around your house. It's it's really it's really lovely. Here's an example of taking a picture with a pet. So you can see, <laughs> look at the cat's face. It's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> what are you doing to me? Like that is so what cats do when you pick them up and they're like, stop. <laughs> so all of you cat lovers are going to enjoy doing that. Super cute. Oh, look at the different, the different poses. They must have quite a few poses banked up as well. I'm excited to see how many you can go through before you get a repeat of the same one. Oh, well, maybe there's only a couple. Oh, I love this. You know, it's not just for cats. You can get pictures with doggies as well. Get a picture with your doggo. Very sweet different poses as well. Uh, sometimes it's going to randomize the same pose by the looks of it. I wonder if there's only one pose for this one. I don't know, maybe there's not a huge bank of poses, but we'll see with some gameplay when we actually get our hands on the game. There's some new interactions as well. Um, you can, like we said, plan outfits for fashion subjects. You can go to the freelancer option and you can share with the subject the photo you've taken of them or the photos you've taken and 
you'll take out your uh, iPad and he can look at them. But it's funny because they're not the pictures of him. <laughs> but like, take it these take a look at these other photos of our other models that are way better than you. <laughs> oh, and we're, we're strutting a pose as well there. And we can change their outfits really easily as well by the looks of things. Good grief, put some pants on. It's also pretty cool when you take pictures in the dark with this light up screen, uh, you can get some really interesting like mood lighting and change the color of the lights as well. So that's that's actually quite an interesting thing to work with as well. So yeah, you can have a bit of fun with the filters, get some moody shots. Very nice, very, very nice. I like the texture on that uh, on that jacket, that shiny texture, I love shiny things. Kind of looks like the city lights in the background on his clothes, glittering in the distance. So then you've got your style influencer walking in. I'm pretty sure you can pick your style influencer. I'm not sure, but you can like discuss fashion trends, attempt an introduction. So I don't know, I guess they're a very important person and your sim's gonna get a little bit excited about meeting them and they're, you know, just like chill as. <laughs> And the options here are to ask to change outfit, discuss fashion blogging, discuss fashion trends, plan outfits for the fashion subject. I'm actually, to be honest, I'm a little confused on the style influencer thing and them being the fashion subject. I'm confused about this a little bit. Uh, I probably need to, yeah, have a go at it myself because I don't know. But we're about to show them our pictures, which is one of the things that we needed to tick off our list of things to do today to try and get paid. So he's going to say what he thinks about it all and if he's happy with it. He says, these fritters are looking great. You have an incredible eye for style. Well, thanks. Of course we do. Except we're not playing the game. I want to play it. But yeah, here's also a group of three Sims posing in a picture. Very nice. Um, but that's pretty much the important parts of this stream kind of compressed into a nice little neat package of information for you guys. Um, by all means, if you've watched the stream, do comment down below anything else they spoke about, especially the style influencer purpose of them, um, how that works. And if there is in fact a way to select your models, I mean, I guess you can just invite a friend over to your house and then take pictures of them. You don't make, hopefully you don't have to necessarily hire a random model to fulfill your job request. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much the whole thing. So thank you so much to George Simguru Mannequin and also Simguru Ninja, Ninja for the great stream. It's always so nice seeing you guys talk about, um, the work that you do with so much enthusiasm. It's, it's really great to see. So thank you so much. And I can't wait to check out this pack. Anyway, guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. I'll speak to you soon. So, so.